For over 40 years, Eddyline has been focused on bringing advanced technology to the design and construction of kayaks. In the early years, Eddyline's kayaks were constructed using fiberglass and Kevlar composites. Eddyline has been the industry leader with new technologies such as vacuum bagging, computer-aided design and engineering, and direct machined molds to vastly improve hull symmetry and, more importantly, hull performance. Today, Eddyline leads the industry in durable, lightweight, and unique designs. In the 80s, polyethylene plastic took the market by storm, becoming popular by lowering the cost of kayaking. Because of the limitations of polyethylene, these kayaks are heavy, difficult to repair, and lack dimensional stability. Eddyline deliberately avoided the plunge into rotomolded polyethylene, searching for a more advanced material and a more appropriate technology. Could Eddyline join the plastic movement without compromising their standard of quality? In 1994, I built this dream machine to thermoform plastic components for our kayaks such as seats and cockpit rims. Previously, these had been built out of fiberglass, which was wasteful and labor intensive. The next step was a natural evolution. Why not kayaks too? Our goal was to increase overall kayak performance and strength, reduce weight, decrease our environmental impact, and offer our customers a tremendous value. Thermoform technology and our thermoplastic composite material, Carbon Light 2000, were a perfect match, providing lighter weight kayaks, dimensional stability, high heat distortion temperatures, hard glossy finishes, easy repairability, good UV abrasion and impact resistance, and 100% recyclable material. As they began the development of thermoforming, Eddyline caught the attention of one of the plastic industry's leading thermoformers, Steve Merle, SPE Thermoformer of the Year 2011. Thermoforming is a sheet molding process. Essentially all the technology of the plastic has to be incorporated into the sheet. The second critical requirement is the mold. The mold must deliver the shape and performance the end user requires. Under heat and pressure, the sheet is pulled tightly over the mold, held in place and cooled until it's returned to a rigid state, and now has the exact shape of the mold. And finally, the fit and finish of the product is determined by the close tolerance trimming of its parts, one after another, out of the formed sheet. This enhances the final appearance, and more importantly, the consistency and efficiency of the assembly. While thermoforming is a manufacturing process, the raw materials used in that process can vary widely between manufacturers. We use a composite of high impact ABS for strength and acrylic for high gloss, UV, and abrasion resistance. Carbon Light 2000 is the result of years of refinement. In kayaks, the mold is where the hull design and aesthetics are captured. The mold must also be designed for manufacturability and ease of assembly. But it's not all about machines and materials. That is just where it starts, and the craftsman's skill comes into play. The assembly and finishing of a kayak is a complex process requiring a great deal of attention to detail and often skills that are literally artistic in nature. After 20 years of thermoforming, Eddyline has applied the benefits of this technology to models ranging from high-performance touring to recreational and fishing kayaks. you've been thermoforming kayaks for a long time. What's next? What are you going to do? Where do you think the next breakthrough might be? You know, your next eureka moment. What do you think it's going to, where do you think it's going to come from? Steve, if I knew the answer to that question, I would keep it a secret right now. Okay. <laughs>